flow. Have fun flowing. Hello. Don't get it on the rug. <laughs> Summer has started. Um, <clears throat> I need to stop saying um. The past three videos that I've uploaded, 99% of the editing is cutting out me saying um in between every sentence. Like that's why there's all those small little cuts. So I'm not actually cutting anything out. I'm literally just cutting out um. Um. I have actually some stuff that I wanted to talk about, like I made an agenda, um, which I'm gonna try doing more often, just so that I can like organize my thoughts, have a more like regular flow to um, make what I wanna discuss and what I want to be talked about. One of the things that I really wanna talk about today was my, existence online kind of so basically what made me realize this is today I was walking to the farmers market I was getting coffee with Abby and I saw this woman who was very skinny but like not in like an unhealthy way like you could just tell she was like small built and out loud I said I hate that bitch because she was skinnier than me. I think my style of videos is very HRH collection reminiscent. And I'm not necessarily saying that we're at all similar. We both call people fat. I'm worried about towing the line because I know that I'm very like upfront with what I feel. I don't, I don't really get embarrassed about what I have to say most of the time, especially when it's like online. But I also need to remember that like it's not just online. It's not just my friends that I send the links to watch the videos. Like, they're out there, you know? And that's something really interesting to think about. Because I definitely feel like some of the things that I say could get me in trouble. Like, not in an actually bad way. You know? Like, not actually bad but definitely in like a, there's definitely people on Twitter that would not fuck with me. The blue haired liberal queers who are just like ultra sensitive and like don't want people to say slip, like that's really fucked up and they're really sensitive for that. Could never be me. Anyway, um, just some things going on in my life. So classes are over, God bless. I've been working, my schedule changed to be like normal part-time part -time hours because my job is related to my university. So like during school, you're not allowed to work over 20 hours just because like that's how they have it set up because it's really just like, we don't do shit. Like we don't need those jobs. It's basically just like to give students an opportunity to work because this is an epidemic that I didn't realize was an epidemic. The amount of people in college that have zero work experience, at least last two years ago, freshman year, like the amount of people that I knew that like either started working that semester or like were getting a job in the future or just like plain up just never had, like that's crazy to me. I take out loans, like that's how I pay for my shit. 
and I thought that was normal. Like I like growing up, my parents or at least my dad always talked about having loans to pay off because he had he graduated college after I was born. Well, I thought that college students were supposed to be out on their own, broke out of, off their asses, struggling to make ends meet, but like having a blast and whatever. No, bitches are getting allowances. That's something so hard for me to like wrap my head around. I just never got an allowance, you know? So it's like, the fact that people are still getting allowances now is not judgment to it, honestly. Just very, very different lifestyles and very, very different cultures growing up. My parents visited this weekend and that was fun. That was nice. We went to Cheesecake Factory, apparently not for the first time. I thought I had never been there. But they told me that we used to go to one in Baltimore, like when I was very little. So I guess I have, but I don't remember it, so I'm counting it as my first time. I was belligerently high and it was like very, very fun. And they asked me and I said no, it was my eyelash serum that was making my eyes red, which was true. But it was also the three bowls that I had smoked. I need to tighten my, what are they called, brackets? Whatever the fuck because my wheels are too loose, and if I have any desire to skate in downtown Phoenix, like, I need to get my shit tightened, because I will fall and break my ass over any crack, because I know how to skate, and I'm comfortable skating, but I'm not a skater, and I will die very fast, very quickly, I will die. But for me, I always, like, I had a job. Like, as soon as, as soon as I could, really, I feel like I started working. It was never really prolonged. Like, I wasn't one of those people, like, there were definitely harder working teens than me, you know? I was never someone that, like, had a job for years in high school. I had a job summer into and junior year, as soon as I turned 16, pretty much, I started applying to places. Um, I worked at Grey Clips for a while, I was the receptionist at Grey Clips. Point is, like, I started working, because that was, like, the expectation and then I got to college and everyone's just kind of like I don't know like nobody has a savings account I thought that was fucking normal apparently not but I think that that like especially in the fashion program like that's such a big part of it I know I've, I've written about this on the blog I think one of the biggest issues that I've always had with the fashion industry is how elitist it is not even in like broad like not the met gala like i mean obviously the met gala but like not in a rich way like genuinely it's like it separates middle class into like 15 different sections all these different avenues to get clothing and get access to that kind of stuff that the fashion industry like prioritizes broken up into so many different sections that it like alienates the ones on the bottom because so much of it focuses on like the Met Gala, Haute Couture, whatever the fuck. And it's not realistic for a good majority of realistic people. There's the stereotype of like the, the broke artist, you know, the ones that move to New York and work at a cafe, but they're trying to sell their music. Everyone knows. I figured it was going to be that. Like I thought that like, once you went to art school, it was like, you're the, you're the tortured artist with no money and just trying to like get your name out there so you can do what you love and like be able to survive off of it in a society that you don't think understands you. I figured that's what it was gonna be, but apparently not. Like apparently the people that go to art school are people that can afford to have those years of struggling and then make their ends meet. And they like have the money in between. I took my tongue ring out because my TMJ is like bothering the fuck out of my jaw. So, or I guess my T my TMJ is flared. Um, and it's making it like painful and annoying. Why did I bring that up? But there's been so many times where like in fashion classes, like students of my financial gain are pressured to like 
live the same like lifestyle as the ones who do have money. I remember freshman year, one of my teachers, like our assignment was to make a white button up shirt. And I didn't have the money to go out and buy fabric. I also didn't like really have the means. Like A, the light rail is sketchy as fuck. I don't want to take that. The Tempe shuttle only goes, or I could take the Tempe shuttle and go to Blick. Blick doesn't even have fabric like that. I get Uber. That's fucking stupid. Like I'm not doing that. So I used a bed sheet that I had. It was just like a white sheet. And it was like soft. It felt like a good material. I was like, whatever fucking works. Good enough. So I used it and I made the shirt and like halfway through, she comes up to me, my professor, and she's like, what fabric did you use? And I'm like, oh, like I didn't have the money to go buy a new fabric. So I used an old sheet that I had. Like I'm, I recycle, I'm sustainable. And she goes, oh, maybe loosen up the purse strings a little bit next time because that's like not really the fabric I wanted you to use. Get Fox. There was a class that I had I think the same semester that had a textbook that some of the prices were up to six hundred dollars. I don't know who the fuck is paying that brand new textbook sixteen six hundred dollars. It was like a textiles book, so it had like samples of fabric, which is why I'm assuming made it so expensive. But like, wouldn't you rather just not make that book than make a book that costs six hundred dollars? All of this is to lead to one of the points that I wanted to make, which was. I wanted to have conversations about fast fashion, and Shein, and stuff like that. Because I am someone who's very, like, stands strong on my morals. I don't buy Nutella or Quaker Oats or Doritos or blah, 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 because they use palm oils. And I care about the Amazon rainforest, and I don't want to support an industry that, 9 to 10, is destroying the rainforest. Um, I don't go to Chick-fil-A. Like, I express these things to people because not like a i do know more than you and like i want you to like at least attempt to be on my level because i think it's really sad that a lot of people are just like kind of stupid and like i feel like i just know everything and i do think that a lot of people would benefit from like li like actually listening to my opinion and like maybe just living their life the way that like i would live it for them because at the end of the day, I think I can make the best de decisions for them. So obviously I'm gonna tell you like, hey, don't shop at Chick-fil-A, like that's killing like gay people. So I don't know, I'm very strong in that, but I'm also fucking broke. Like I have no money. I am living off of 12.80 an hour. I work 22 hours a week. Like I don't get help, you know? Like I'm, all the money that I'm spending is the 12.80 an hour that I'm making but I had $200 to get me through two weeks. And granted, there were definitely some coffees I could skip buying and whatever, whatever, but like, I want to be able to enjoy like not really having bills. Like I pay rent and I pay my utilities and I pay my college tuition or whatever, but like, you, I feel like I'm making sense, but I'm over explaining it. I struggle a lot with balancing my morals in like the stuff that I value and the stuff that I want to like contribute to or not contribute to, but also balancing like my real self. I saw a tweet that said people saw there's no ethical consumption over capitalism and ran with it as like an excuse to shop wherever you want because there's no ethical consumption under capitalism. So why does it matter no matter where I'm spending money, yada, 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 which is true. But that's how you rationalize Target and like Walmart and like Five Below. Like obviously those places aren't great either, but like they're bad in the way that like capitalism makes them bad. Sheen's bad and like that's illegal here. Probably not, honestly. But like at the end of the day, I am someone that like Every once in a while, I want a new phone case. I want new earrings. I want a new belt, you know? So like, I do look at Shein. I won't say that I shop at Shein. I, won't, I don't actively shop at Shein. I have definitely made recent pur purchases. The conversation, I guess this was all leading up to, which is for people like me, I have always encouraged people to just thrift. You know, like you always see those TikToks that are like, 
I want to dress like this, but I can't afford it. And I'm like, I dress exactly like that because I thrift. Like, I get all of my clothes secondhand. And that is one option. But, like, you're not going to find perfect in your size cowie boots at any goodwill in Phoenix. And you're not going to find demonias. And you're not going to find, like, I don't fucking know. Whatever other, like, specific shit that you're looking for. Like, it's hard once you get into, like, actual fashion. Like, it's not like this is just your style. Like, in high school when I go thrifting, it's like, oh, this sweater is in my style. I can get it. Now it's like, oh, this brand, this designer just dropped this collection and I really want this item from it. When you want a specific item or a certain, like, vibe to an item then like it's really hard to like just thrift and at my price range like that is it possible always like you I, not not possible but it's not always like what I want to do so I guess I want to raise the question of like where do we draw the line like is the expectation actually for like which <sighs> this is so weird because I agree. Like, if I was watching this, I would be like, yeah, that is the expectation. But I also don't feel like that's realistic. Because me shopping there, like, spending $30 every six months is not keeping them afloat. Like, I'm not the issue. I'm contributing to it, and I will take full fault for that. But, like, is the expectation to have people like me in the fashion industry that like at the end of the day are materialistic and want material possessions because they think things look cool and they want things like to just not get them like what other options are there besides buying the cheap ones or not getting what I want I want what I want I sound spoiled in this video that's what I sound like I want to do a thrift haul because I got so much I feel like I've gotten so much stuff recently that I want to show off so I'm gonna do that this is what I'm gonna do that's what I'm gonna do and you can't stop me do, 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 do. I got first I got these shorts and they're really large but I'm gonna like sew them to be a little smaller but they're gonna be like baggy on the legs regardless and then i got these pants i look ugly and i do like them like a the details it's just like cute look <laughs> whatever whatever but it was also because when i walked in there was a group of like five four men that 110 percent fucking listened to blade and they looked like they would have wanted these and i didn't want them to have them so i bought them uh i got like a shit ton of stuff i feel like and my total was like 11 dollars. so i don't know why i haven't gone to the bins in forever but i think i need to fix that because i feel like i get so much more stuff so much more bang for my buck I got this like tool fabric that I'm really excited to use and these two ties. I've just been really into like blues recently and this is like, it's like silver, which I think will look really cute. And then I got these gray jeans just cause I didn't have any gray jeans. They're stacked, which means they're like a little bit tighter and like longer than they normally would be for like the waist size at the bottom which I don't know if I like, but I definitely don't dislike it. It just kind of, it makes my fit look a little more basic if I don't try to not make it look basic. You know what I mean? I found this Harley Davidson button up, like denim button up that obviously I'm like most likely going to crop, but I just thought it was really cute because it's like a denim Ooh, whatever. I want it. No, um, and the original, no, 
and the no and the no and the original Harley Davidson tag is still on it. Such a bad friend. And it was originally forty five dollars, and I got the shit for like ten cents. So yeah, I got this Curious George T shirt. It's, it's really cute. It says all day every day because he's just him. monkeying around. I'm gonna steal him. Don't touch me. <laughs> I'm gonna report you. And then I got this camo t-shirt because I like camo. Oh, where to go? <laughs> and then final one, which was the last one that I found and is also my favorite. This like polo and it just has like shit all over it. It's just sick. It's rad. So cool. It's so cool. Ah. Ah. Yeah, that was pretty much it. That was it. That's all I have. That's all I have. But let's get into media because I have some shit to talk about. Uh. The. I saw Guardians of the Galaxy 3 last night with my dad and stepmom. That movie made me cry. That movie made me bawl. I don't know. Something about it. I really actually like enjoyed the like cinematography of it. There were a lot of, there was like a six minute long shot, like one take of a fight in like a hallway, John Wick style. It was just very like, I don't know, interesting. It felt like. I think it was obviously still very Marvel, but like it felt like it had its own heart more. Um, like it wasn't another just like tie into the universe. It was like the final chapter for the Guardians trilogy, you know, like it was that movie. Soundtrack was good. It opened a creep. It was a cover, like it wasn't the um, Radiohead version but it opened a creep, and I think that that says a lot. The real media I wanna get into, I have a bump on my head, is Song of Achilles. I've been reading, and I'm like, almost done. Like, I have maybe like 100 more pages. Hey, that book has a fucking grip on me. It's sending me back down my Greek mythology era. I wanna, like, I'm literally looking at flights to Greece, but I'm also planning out, I've started designing my first, like, big tattoo piece. The tattoo that I'm designing is a painting based off the Iliad of Achilles and Patroclus, Petro, Patroclus, Patroclus, Patroclus. Um, I was really hoping that the story would be like fictional enough because I feel like we have enough gay love stories where like there's never any fucking happy ending. Apparently not. Apparently fucking not. But true to real life, so. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I hope you all have a beautiful week. I hope you all enjoyed the video. It was much more lax and just me talking to you. So I hope you liked that because that's the vibe that I want to go in. Yeah, that's it. Surprise this week, most likely. Uh, keep an eye out. Just look around, observe.